Hey guys, what's up? Today we have an unboxing of the Microsoft Surface. So, we're going to be comparing this to the iPad in our next video or so. But we really wanted to just show an unboxing for everyone that enjoyed. If you want only strictly Apple videos, there's nothing uh, enforcing you staying on this video. But we're just going to be starting shortly. So the package arrived an hour or so ago. Shout out to FedEx for getting it to our house a second time because of some problems we had. They had some great uh, customer service. So... Uh, that's definitely cool. So it looks like you start with the bottom. We can just pull this little tab out. Kind of feels like I'm not doing it right, but there we go. Popped out. And we're pulling out the actual device box that you'll get most likely when you're in the store. So here we have the surface from a top angle. You can see the box sort of is composed of two pieces and I guess we'll be trying to uh, slip out the surface right now. I really like the design of the box, not that that really matters too much for the product. But it's always fun to have a cool box. So this is sort of hard to pull out, but once we do so, you can see the inside of the box. Now on the bottom here you have your keyboard cover, this kind of slid out uh, secondly, so we can just pop out the keyboard cover and show you what the keyboard looks like. So here's a quick look at the touch keyboard. We got it cost $100 more for the model with the touch keyboard or I believe $120 if you buy it separately. Additionally, you can get a type keyboard which is more like an actual keyboard for I believe $130 added on. So if you put that into your uh, lower model, you can get it basically for $30 more. So quickly looking at the touch cover, it definitely feels pretty tough. It's not as like flimsy or whatever as it sort of uh, looks like, but no real tactile uh, feedback, but you can definitely see that each key is spaced off, and ultimately I'm really excited to try this out. So here we have the Surface Box again, and we'll be opening that by pulling this kind of weird looking tab on the side, and that will allow us to flip up this and reveal the tablet itself. So, if we pull this out, you can see we have the actual tablet device, uh, which feels sort of heavy, definitely a little bigger than the iPad. Underneath it, we have this uh, manual, which I believe we can just pull out. Oh, it's ripping the box a little bit. Uh, don't want that to happen. But you can see, here's your manual. If we open it up, it looks pretty much just like Apple with that little uh, thing right there. But if we slide it around, you can see just basically a startup guide, which I'm probably never going to use. And the third thing you get in the box is uh, this piece right here, which looks like a charger. And you can see that sort of, I believe it's a charger, it charges with this weird port like that. I'm totally new to this, so um, nothing's for sure, but you can see you have your regular plug on the other side. So now I bet you are really excited to see what it actually looks like in action. So we'll just be pulling off this plastic right here, throwing that away, and here you can see the tablet um, at its very center with no packaging, and, whoa, turned on right there. Don't really know how I did that, but you can snap it onto the keyboard. That sounded pretty solid, and then we can try to figure out how the heck we pop up the back. So here's how you do it, you just pull that right there. And now you can see the tablet in action. Now this looks pretty cool. I'm really impressed with the packaging and the initial impressions, but we have been seeing some not so good reviews. So I'll get back to you guys on a review probably in a little while since I know a lot of people aren't too interested in <laughs> Microsoft products, but we will be following up on this, especially with a comparison to the iPad. So look forward to that. I'll see you guys later and please hit that like button and subscribe.